Hey guys, it's Mindy here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can get Home Pass, and this Home Pass will get you the Eon ticket. This method is easier than the last one I mentioned, and I figured I could share it with you in case some of you are having trouble getting the Eon ticket via the other method. So the first thing you're going to want to do is enable Street Pass. As long as you have the BuzzNav, you can enable Street Pass, and you should be good to go. This is the first essential part in doing so. Next, you're going to want to go into your settings and go into Data Management. In here, you should see Street Pass manage Management, and from here, you should only have Pokemon or as your only as your title because this will just help you get Street Passes easier for this title. Then you're going to want to run Mac Pass as administrator, and you see at the top it says Adapter equals Wi-Fi. Make sure that your Wi-Fi adapter or your Ethernet adapter, whatever you're running, says Wi-Fi. Just the name needs to be changed. You can right-click it and click Rename and rename it. Next, you're going to want to edit the SSID to NZ at MCD1, as you see here, and change the password to password. I just do this for simplicity's sake. Then click execute after you double click it. Then double click the next line of code you see here and execute it. And you should see a virtual network appear as you see over here online. And mine is titled home pass. The name is irrelevant. The only name that matters is the first one and that is your Wi-Fi and make sure it matches up to the adapter. Next you wanna, you're gonna right click and make sure the sharing is ticked on your main uh, internet source. Not the home pass, but the main one. Once you make sure that the sharing is checked, you can grab the MAC address that you want to use. I will include the document with all the MAC addresses. Click enter. Make sure that the first MAC address is the one you're going for. I want to set the delay to like 400, 600, 800 because I do want this to run through just this one MAC address and not cycle through the others. So you can click start and from here you'll see there's a countdown to when the MAC address will cycle. So just set the delay to a high number because you really only want to work with one in this scenario. Then you'll see that your home pass uh, a virtual network does disappear and then reappear as it should. And after you see this happen, you can navigate to your DS and start setting up via your settings. The, w the main thing in the settings, you either want to set it up as the first connection in your internet settings or make sure you disable the other connections that you're running and you can do so by changing the name of the connection and just add like an X or some number after the connections as you'll see later on. So just look for the access point. If this is, like I said, if this is your third connection, just set it up as you normally would. Put in the password that you put in as the password earlier. Click OK and then it will run a connection test for you. As long as it connects, obviously you'll be okay. It should connect without issues, although you can always uh, Google search if you do run into any error codes, although I know some people might, and it really does vary from computer to computer. That's why this is kind of difficult to get, but this I really think is the easiest method. And as you see, my first two connections have an X at the end. That way it won't connect to my um, it won't connect to those networks. You can either delete the networks or make sure you disable them. And then you should see that your your little uh, your little icon over there for Nintendo Zone should be blinking. Then you know you're connected, right? And you can turn not, don't turn off the DS. Just shut the DS off. Like you close the lid, put it in standby, and after a couple minutes you should see it blink green and then stay solid green. And then if you know this worked right, you will see a little green button on the lower right hand side of your game. Hopefully this worked better than the last method. This was a lot more straightforward and you could I can try and answer questions in the comments. I can't guarantee you because everyone's computer is different. I was doing this via Windows 8 and I believe you can also do this via Windows 7. So hopefully this helps you guys. If it did, you can leave a like and as always, have a wonderful day.